everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we are gonna do something very special and very different. That's right, we are gonna have our first hibachi challenge, hibachi food challenge. It's actually sushi and hibachi. So today we're going to Fujiyama House of Japan, which is a steakhouse and sushi bar. And when I say steakhouse, I mean specifically a hibachi grill. So if you're not familiar, hibachi is like essentially where they cook all the ingredients in front of you, the different meats, the vegetables. It's kind of like a dinner show in a way. And then of course here they also have their sushi options. For today's challenge, the stakes are high and I'm not being silly, like no pun intended. This is over a $300 price tag if we do not complete this challenge. So we're gonna have a mixed plate of hibachi featuring like a couple scallops, some different uh, chicken. We're gonna have some beefs. And then we're having huge massive sushi platters. So we have sashimi, nigiri, um, a whole bunch of different rolls. I'm gonna give you the specifics. I'll kind of walk us through everything, but it's definitely a huge amount of food. We only have 30 minutes to complete the challenge to actually get the meal for free. And again, the meal is over $300. So let's hopefully get it for free, but super excited to be in Indianapolis. Um, this is my first challenge in Indianapolis. It's been a long time coming. So ultimately let's uh, go check this place out. Sounds like a lot of fun. They have um, like top tier uh, hibachi chefs from all over North America um, and the place is like apparently astounding. It's been there for like 40 years or something. So let's go have some fun, eat some food and let's go. Everyone, so here with all the food it looks absolutely fantastic. So not only do we have like so, 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 so much sushi. Here's the hibachi. We have some filet mignon. We have a uh, strip loin. We got scallops. I love scallops. We got shrimp. Of course, we got some fried rice, the veggies. Um, on here, I got like Yoshi rolls. I got yummy, yummy rolls. I have tuna rolls. We have um, some uh, nigiri as well. We have eel. We have shrimp. We have just so much delicious looking sushi. I'm so excited. So yeah, this place is like, this place is legit. I'll put it that way. Smells great, looks great. I have been waiting for this. So ultimately, let's get started. Let's eat some food. Hi everyone, so let's get started. I don't really know to, like where to start. Maybe I'll start with the hibachi. This is probably a great idea. Um, hibachi on a fork, I think that's a thing. I know I, I normally do, of course, like chopsticks for the sushi, but let's start with some of this delicious looking hibachi. So, does anybody want to be our timer today? We got an official timer? We got an official timer? Let me know whenever you're ready. That's right. Perfect, so how do we get, oh. Two, one. Let's go. Go. Oh my God. Super tender. I just love beef. That'd be the fly. It is cooked medium rare, just as I asked. It's in like a bit like the teriyaki sauce. Very delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Fujiyama here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Here doing this amazing, super cool hibachi and sushi challenge. So as we said, the stakes were high. This was going to be what I knew would be a very delicious challenge, but maybe a very difficult challenge. As overall, we had what is probably about nine pounds of food, um, being lots and lots of sushi, plus all the hibachi items that you have right there. I would eat this any day. Beautiful. Got some chicken. Very flavorful. Some shrimp. There, there's some like mm. garlic butter on there or something that is fantastic. <laughs> some scallops. Very good. Down the veggies. Onions, mushrooms, zucchini, perfect. Nice and held on there. Yeah, 
that is just like fantastic. They're very well known here for their hibachi, and I definitely see why. Like world class hibachi chefs here. So definitely give them a shout out. They deserve that. All right, let's try some of this sushi. All right, my soy sauce, you know I love, I love salt, I love sodium, let's be honest. But I got like so many options. I don't even know where to start, but uh, I'll start with this. I think it's the Yami Yami, it's called Mountain Roll. Crab, avocado. I can just put an eel sauce on that. That is amazing. Yeah, actually, like, that's fire. <laughs> wow. Alright. Totally recommend that. Some shrimp. Very, very good. Some tuna. So for those who are not familiar what hibachi is and what it actually means, so hibachi actually means bowl of fire. Um, essentially, uh, like it is items cooked on a very high uh, heat and on like a metal surface generally. So as you saw, like the gentleman had the hibachi grill. So again, very high heat grill. And that's what essentially makes a hibachi. Uh, more traditionally, sometimes they're almost like large ovular bowls um, or circular kind of bowls. Um, again, served very, very hot. Um, you made for cooking, kind of like, it's not exactly stir frying in a way, but in a way it kind of is, if that makes sense. Um, so again, for those who are uh, not familiar with hibachi, that's essentially what that means. So like all those meats and all those vegetables were cooked on a very high heat on a metal surface. Um, and then they generally add like different kind of like sauces to it, which makes, as you can kind of see in the bowl still there, which are very delicious, nice little sweet saltiness. Very delicious. <laughs> This one got some uh, tuna and asparagus. And then of course we had all the sushi. I will say the sushi was of a uh, very high quality. It was very delicious. The rolls they had there were really innovative and they had some great flavors going on. Um, whether it be like the torched rolls, um, the yummy yummy rolls, the mountain rolls, the Yoshi rolls. 
Um, all those ones there were really, really cool, very fresh tasting. Um, that's a key thing. Definitely tasted very, very fresh. And one thing for me that I really am um, particular with in my sushi is temperature. And I will say all the meats and everything was temperature. For example, like sushi is not supposed to be cold nor is it supposed to be hot. And I've been places in the past where I've had both, and this was just absolutely perfect. Like the temperatures, the taste, the flavors, the freshness of the ingredients, it was definitely all there, and they definitely had that part down packed. And for summer, about eight minutes in, very delicious. The sushi is just like so fantastic. Although we have a full other tray here, so no shortage, that's for sure. But keep on trucking, keep on getting at it. And this roll has like a whole pile of fish on top. So, definitely getting our protein today. So coming here is definitely like a dining experience. So again, if you're at the hibachi table, you literally get to see your food cooked. But the, uh, the chefs um, do it in such a unique way. I mean, they, you know, each of them had their own acts. You know, you had a gentleman um, cracking eggs. You had a gentleman playing drums. You had a gentleman uh, making things look like trains. You had, you know, like explosions of fire. Um, they all had their own kind of unique twist on how they cooked the foods. They all had their uh, kind of own ways of doing things. And I think that's what was so cool. Like, you could come here and get a different experience every single time depending on like the different chef you had um, and not to mention again like you can always order different items and they're going to cook them differently it's going to be right in front of you which was super awesome again you do have the full edition of the sushi um, and really i think kind of having this such a unique challenge of having both was super super cool because uh, like i said first time ever doing a hibachi challenge um, and kind of this style like japanese steakhouse um, is really I, I really enjoyed it like the quality was there like i said just t through and through i very enjoyed it all right maybe 10 minutes in the first tray is Dunzo. We're gonna move this kind of out of the way. You can leave it there, I'm just gonna move. Thank you so much. Alright. Under this tray, and I think this tray actually has more food on it, so this may take a little bit. I got a burp, but. There's a little bit. It'll come. It'll come. Ten minutes in. Ten minutes in. That burp's coming. I feel it. All right. Now this is an interesting looking roll. I didn't really pick up the chopstick, but look at this. This roll is literally in a cucumber skin. Just. <laughs> Texture. I'm usually pretty good with chopsticks, but I can't pick this up, so. That's really cool. No ketchup. No ketchup. No ketchup. I do like ketchup, but not with sushi. <laughs> California roll. So with that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. Um, let me know down below, though. Have you ever been to a hibachi grill like this? Have you ever had such an experience? And if you did, what did you think? Because I thought it was pretty cool. Not going to lie. This would be probably like my second or third time doing it, and I always really enjoyed it. So with that, everyone, let's uh, ultimately tune on in, see what happens. And, uh, well, that's about it. Let's see if, uh, see if we can beat and eat all this delicious food. Some tuna rolls. Shout out that presentation. This, this whole thing trail looks beautiful. That's service. Shout out. Shout out to the service. I will say, whatever we're all needed now, this is freaking amazing. It's like a little sweet. Do you know what this is? Inside this? Oh, this is shrimp. Shrimp and pearl? It's like shrimp avocado. 
I may not know the name, but I can't classify it as delicious, so I'll just call it. Thank you. From this side, it looks like you're grabbing the sun roll. Sun roll? Pink one sun roll? Yep. All delicious. Mm. I like the mayonnaise on this one. I just ate a shrimp tail, a little crunchy. I mean, I'm not hungry, but... This is called a crazy roll, and it's crazy good. Oh, no. You still got dessert, Kobe. So about 15 minutes in, again, just so delicious. I have about like maybe half a tray, and then some rice. Let's get her done. But then everybody wants me to order dessert. I don't know why, but it's a very common request in them, so we'll see what happens. Crab roll. Spicy tuna. How are we doing for child? 19. 19. We got dessert coming up soon. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so at 19 minutes in, very delicious. Pretty much just down to this rice. 19. And that'll be that. At 19 and a half. Perfect. Whew. A lot of sushi. Very, very delicious stuff. I am going to undo the pants a little bit. Oh, there we go. Horsepower. Going great. Only one notch in the belt. I probably about 200 horsepower, so that's pretty good. But I when it came prepared, I had a spoon for this rice. I figured it's gonna be the most ergonomic way to eat it. I will say though. Very delicious. There's that burp. Excuse me. We are done. All right, so very, very delicious. Very much enjoyed that. I can't, like, I can't say enough. First, start with the bocce, delicious. The steak, delicious. The chicken, delicious. The sushi was just absolutely fantastic. Um, I think definitely some of my favorites are kind of like, I think we saw the Yoshi roll, that was delicious, the wasabi mayonnaise. The uh, yummy, yummy roll, or the mountain roll was delicious as well. Um, we had that one also with all the fish on it. Absolutely fantastic, all the way through and through. The nigiri was great, the sashimi was great. Really, really enjoyed it. Definitely great ingredients, definitely delicious tasting. So uh, for that, we're gonna do it for free, which is pretty dang cool. I wanna give a huge thanks to everybody who came on out. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Joe. 21 and a half minutes. And apparently I'm have getting dessert, so I, 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 I did not know this was quite happening. Okay.
did not know this was happening, but apparently it's happening. So we'll definitely get to that. Let me clear this out of the way. But I want to give a huge thanks to everybody here. Like I said, if you're ever in the Indianapolis area, definitely come up by. This place has been here for like 44 years or something, three generations, and I can see why. Delicious Japanese steakhouse and sushi. World-class hibachi chefs, 10 out of 10 recommend. And the service is ridiculous. I swear, they just read my mind. So with that, everyone, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Yes, we're gonna try these desserts. But at that, in case you don't wanna watch me try the desserts, till next time, <laughs> happy eating. All right, and only because they so nicely forced dessert upon me, no, I'm just kidding. Or so nicely delivered dessert to me. We got a tempura, tempura ice cream, kind of like a, well basically a deep fried ice cream. Well this looks delicious, so we have ice cream in a tempura batter, which is then deep fried. How can you go wrong? It's freaking ice cream and it's deep fried. America, thank you America. And then we have hell a whole, right. yeah, hell all right. By the way, check out JoelEats.com, new merch, and there's a whole hell right line. Uh, at that, sorry, shameless pro. Let's see, there we got the Molten Lava Cake. This looks absolutely fantastic. This is actually like, the half uh, color is icing sugar. So that's pretty dang cool. Great on the presentation. So, let's give this a shot. I think uh, I got some whipped cream on this. I think it's gonna be fair to try with this Molten Lava Cake, which, got some gooey chocolate. Oh yeah, okay, look at this, look at this. We got some runny action. Do you see that happening there? See that happening? We got some runny, gooey chocolate action. Let's give this a shot. Not too hot. Mm. Ooh. That is chocolate. Holy cow. You wanna talk about like, you like chocolate. This is for you. Nice and warm, you can see it's just kind of running all over the place. Not gonna lie, that's freaking good. I do wanna try this tempura ice cream. I've been trying not to eat too many desserts recently, but what can I say? All right. Nice dollop of ice cream, melting fried dough. That is very, very, very good. And just because, I will try a bit of both, mouthful of each. I think it's only suiting. Ooh, that is like, like brownies and ice cream, which I approve of that combination. That is a very, very good combo. For everyone, Fujiyama would totally recommend. Love this place. Staff and exceptional, like I said, the food's exceptional. So that's about it. I just said have a great day, but in case you didn't hear it the first time, have a great day. Definitely come check it out. Meals are great, desserts are great. I have no complaints. So with that, everybody. Maybe don't eat this much food, definitely can get yourself some food. And that just, I guess. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.